Hey, trumpet players, in this 10 minute warm up, we are going to talk about the four aspects of trumpet warm ups, including first, lip buzzing, mouthpiece buzzing, lip slurs, and tonguing. So, the idea behind this warm up with me series is that you're going to be able to play along with me or you can trade off with me. And the idea is that you're going to be resting as much as you play, which I advocate and most trumpet players advocate that you rest as much as you play so that you don't get stiff or tired and that we're actually warming up and not tearing down and getting too stiff, like I said, and I'm unable to play the rest of the things that you want to accomplish during the day. You can download the free PDF of this entire exercise on my website at jefflewistrumpet.com and it's under the beginning book in the header and you just scroll down to the warm up with me. Okay, so let's get started with the first exercise and that is lip buzzing. Now with lip buzzing, I like to buzz free lip buzzing with this basically the same embouchure that I use when I play the trumpet. So it looks something like this. And I manipulate my jaw position and my lips and my corners and my face to get kind of a mosquito buzz and less of a, like, I don't know what you call it, like a horse flap or, or um, maybe you get this, right? Where you're coming maybe a little bit too far forward and a little bit too puckered. I try to keep it a little more, like I said, like a mosquito buzz. All right, let's get started. Okay, second thing on the list, I like to do some lip buzzing. Now, with lip buzzing, I like to hold the mouthpiece a certain way. And a lot of people advocate this where I'm using the thumb and the forefinger and only those two fingers to hold the mouthpiece. That way, I'm not, I'm less inclined to want to grip and jam the mouthpiece into my face. So you notice my three fingers are up like this. And also, You'll notice as as you ascend that you might start doing this and bringing the fingers along as you ascend. That's basically because you're needing more pressure. Now, once again, pressure is not necessarily bad. We're just going to try to use less pressure to get the job done. So fingers out like this, thumb and fin forefinger, and then just... <laughs> And I like to do breath attacks on these. So let's get started.
Next on the list, number three, is lip slurs. Now on lip slurs, I like to pay attention to my airflow and also to what my tongue is doing in my mouth as I go from low to high. So I like to think vowel sounds on the low notes or like this starts on a low C, so we're gonna go ah, and then maybe to a G is A, and then the C is E, so ah, A, E, A, ah. So kind of pay attention to what your tongue is doing and see if in addition to support with the air, the tongue level will also help in getting those notes to pop out. Now lastly, what we're gonna cover is tonguing. With all of these exercises, if you're getting stiff or tired at any time, or the exercise goes too high, just stop and rest. Pick it up where you left off after you rest for a couple minutes. Now if it's still too high, I would just stop, put the horn down, take a break, and then move on. Or don't play as high for each exercise. The other thing about these tonguey exercises is that you can play them all tongued. You can use a ta tongue. You can use a legato da tongue. And you can also change the articulation. <laughs> Thank you. 
I hope you found those exercises helpful. Be sure to download the free PDF on my website, jefflewistrumpet.com. I have a lot of other tutorials on YouTube as well. I also have the Jeff Lewis Trumpet podcast where I have all of the play alongs for this particular exercise. Of course, I also have the play alongs on my website as well. And I have the one uh, play along for each where I'm playing, you can trade off with me, or if you get tired of that, you can just use the track. Okay, hope you like that, and I'll catch you in the next video.